Hey Virgo, welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Spirit. Today we're delving into what do you need to heal, okay? I'm going to give a trigger warning uh, before we delve into the reading. This can play out past, present, or future. Take it how it resonates, if it resonates for you, okay? Um, it's a timeless reading, so when you're seeing it, that's when it's meant for you, okay? And... I have personals available. The link for that is down below in the description box. You can also check out my playlist for additional collective reads. Virgo, I see you needing to weigh all your options right now, okay? And not needing to shortchange yourself, okay? Don't half-ass this, okay? That's what's sticking out already in the pre-shuffle, okay? I definitely want to thank you all so much for all of the likes, subscribes, tips, donations, bookings. It's all greatly appreciated. Let's delve into what Virgo needs to heal. Please and thank you, Spirit. Okay, so it comes out. All right, that's seven of cups energy. But it's like you're just now starting to manifest the cups. Okay, but it's like you have to feel things in. What would be emotionally fulfilling for you? Now, I don't know how good you are with manifestation. I did see the magician out there in the pre-shuffle as well, that you are fully capable of manifesting your reality. But I feel like the problem is you trying to figure out what it is that you want. With the death card here, we have some type of rebirth here. We have some type of transformation with what you're anticipating. So I see already um, you've been working on yourself. Smash that like button if you've been working on yourself. And um, it's in the form of what you're anticipating in your life. Like you're trying to look at the brighter side of things now. Yeah, with the Empress energy, I see you wanting to be in a season of um, harvest, okay? Reaping what you have sowed. Also, um, mm, with the Temperance card here, I see you balancing out your emotions here. So it's like you want to receive blessings and you're trying to align yourself up with what it is that you want and what it is you want to manifest that's what i'm seeing here with the justice card here you will receive justice okay um this is rightfully old to you let me get just one more mm -hmm. from the past okay so it's like past efforts here um are gonna pay out for you in the end okay yeah with a world card a completion of a cycle i feel like you're completing a cycle with a fixed sign that's leo uh taurus aquarius or scorpio okay this could be someone from your past all right um you could have been with this person for a long time i feel as though yeah you're taking life by the horns now especially with this four of cups here it's like you're not waiting for options to come towards you anymore maybe in the past you did maybe you held out for a relationship okay maybe you held out for someone in your past um i also see some of you all if anybody does come up from your past i see you fixing things with them um yeah king of pentacles i feel like you're really taking charge you're trying to have the stability in your life and the masculine energy, you're currently a masculine energy, but you're wanting to shift into this feminine energy so you can receive the blessings um, that, well, really receive the manifestations that you have performed the actions to get closer to in your masculine energy. See, we all have masculine and feminine energies within us, okay? Yin and yang. So I'm definitely see you taking charge here, taking action to really break down your manifestations and what you need to do to have that a realization in your life here yeah, with the judgment card here i see the divine granting you a wish yeah with the two of cups here you can expect some type of um i i'm it, it kind of looks like a reunion from someone from your past maybe someone you felt like you had unfinished business with maybe someone you felt like was a soulmate or just like an option you know it could just be like an option that you felt like you want to go i'm here right back down memory lane could be somebody you want to like just revisit you know, those moments with maybe somebody, maybe you were dealing with someone else, you know, for a long time. And now you want to go back to someone from your past. Okay. Maybe they've resurfaced. Yeah. With the three of cups of energy here. Hell yeah. I see options. Okay. 
I see you trying to figure out what it is that you want with this tower card here. You very well could be ending things with someone you have children with, but I feel like it's going to go surprisingly smooth. Yeah, with the page of cups here, it just hasn't been um, enough love enough effort in on either position that's what i see but it's like you both wanted this though yeah with the judgment card here i see you getting dressed up for someone else putting on clothes for someone else Ooh, will of fortune in reverse this is somebody um let me get one more for will of fortune in reverse eight of cups so this is somebody you walked away from Okay, two things are simultaneously going on here. I see you needing to walk away from a relationship or you walking away from it. And um, you and this person just co-parenting and being cool in the end, you know. But I also see a third party energy here that you want to be with from the past. Okay, you could have walked away from this person. This person could have judged you harshly because you were dealing with this Empress energy, Okay. Yeah, with the Queen of Wands here, you definitely had somebody placed as a third party with the Eight of Pentacles here. Um, you could have been shit to this person leading him on to happiness. But at the same time, I feel like you were happy with this person. Okay, Four Cups. Here's that Four Cups energy again. Okay, but instead, it looks like a hard pill to swallow, right? It's like, don't apologize for the things that you want to do, Virgo, okay? Some of you all could be dealing with a Taurus. Some of you all could be dealing with an air sign. I also see Scorpio here. Um, I see Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here as well. You could be leaving a situation, Page of Wands, and... Um, it's like this. This is, I'm going to just say it to you exactly how I'm saying it. What you need to heal is procrastination with breaking it off with a past situation. Okay. It's like you're almost afraid of how this person is going to take it. Maybe you have a lot of wrap, a lot of things wrapped up with this person. Maybe you're going to go through a divorce with them. Okay. Maybe you just have children with this person. But it's like you're afraid of how this person is going to take it. With the Six of Swords here, you just want a peaceful resolution, okay? And with the Seven of Pentacles, you could have waited too long. Spirit is saying, you waiting too damn long. You letting too much time pass you by, okay, to make this move. That's what needs to be healed um, is this form of procrastination within you, okay, that holds you back from almost like your destiny, Virgo. That's what I'm seeing, yeah, with the Nine of Cups, I see you wanting to, okay, smash that like button if you've been pouring up lately, like drinking recently, okay? And it could be champagne, wine, liquor, you know? I don't know why I'm here in Pasta Cavassier. <laughs> here we have four swords in reverse. So I feel like you're about to go in and get your person, the person that you could have rejected in the past because you were involved with this Empress energy. I see you going back to go get them now. All right. It's like maybe you procrastinated on this for a long time. Maybe you didn't know if this is what you should do. But after a while, it's like, well, this is what I want to do. What do I want in my life? And you got to thinking about it, okay? And you thought about this third party. Here we have the Nine of Cups. See, you could be living um, with someone else. You could be having like a marriage. You could be having like a relationship where you have a family with this person. But you see the cups are empty here. It's like you're not receiving the emotional fulfillment that you would like to receive out of this relationship. And with the Seven of Cups here, you're also weighing your options. You're actively looking for cups that are full. Different types of cups as well. And then we have Ace of Pentacles. So you can expect um, foundation to come in. Um, I feel like you really have a lot to offer. If you were thinking like, oh, I don't have enough to offer someone right now. It seems like you really do with the Ace of Pentacles here. Yeah, with the Hierophant. I mean, that's plain and simple. As simple as <laughs> day, right? Ace of Pentacles and the Hierophant. It's like having something to offer. It's like you're offering this person. You're probably offering this person some type of commitment, some type of marriage as well. Yeah, I see the temperance card here. So it's like um, you may be coming to this person from the past. Like, look, I know 
things between us haven't been perfect, but I want to fix that. I want to work on that. Okay, we also have the Nine of Swords here. I definitely see that energy of the person, this Empress you were dealing with that you may have children with. Um, or some type of family dynamic. Or some type of financial tie. Okay, it's the energy of worrying that things could go left. Okay, with this Empress. With the Six of Wands here, um, you could feel like a lot of people are in your business right now, but you're really holding it together. You got it under control. That's what I'm seeing. Okay, with the Six of Wands, you will be victorious. With the King of Swords, it's saying that in your masculine energy, Virgo, you need to speak up. And you need to say what it is that you want, and you will be victorious with that. Things will work out in the end, okay? With the Queen of Cups here, I feel like the person that you're leaving behind, the person that you're ending things with, I feel like this person will be emotionally balanced. They're coming in as the Queen of Cups. This person may have a stiff drink. Maybe the two of you are going to have a drink, and you're going to talk to each other realistically, okay? I'm seeing you talking with um, intelligence, talking with experience, okay? And this person talking with balance, emotional balance, okay? And being able to place themselves in your shoes. I feel like the two of you will remain um, like keeping people out of your uh, business, okay? Out of your arrangement that you have with each other. Okay, I definitely see some type of arrangement here, okay? Between the two of you. And then with the five of pentacles here. It's almost like... Um, when other people find out, like, smash that like button if you have, like, other family members, maybe in-laws if you're married or just other family members, okay, that could be in your business. And it's like, they're so surprised that you're dealing with someone else or they're so surprised when things begin to come out and how it's not how they pictured. But with the star card here, it lets me know that um, you'll be victorious, okay? A lot of people are going to be looking at you, wondering how you're still happy, how you're still afloat. Okay, but it's not for them to know as long as you're pulling it off. Yeah, with the two of pentacles. All right, it's it's fine. That's what I'm saying. You juggling children, a family life. Maybe you have a pet and a home with this other person, but I see you doing it. I see you pulling it off, balancing things out. With the lover's card here, I definitely see you choosing someone that you don't have children with to be with, okay? But it's going to come after a moment of really um, facing the situation head on. But I feel like as you do so, things will begin to pan out quickly. Okay. I want to pull some messages from your higher self, from your soul, soul messages, right? What do you need to focus on moving forward towards your healing? Okay, please and thank you. Here we have, from whom can I release my judgment right now? Okay. I feel like... This is one of those rare instances where you can walk away from a situation, okay? You and this person having a clear understanding, okay, this is how we're going to co-parent. This is how we're going to do moving forward and moving away from judgment, moving away from how you felt like things should have turned out, okay? Releasing judgment, saying that these, this is the way that things are, okay? And I'm okay with that. As long as you're putting yourself first, like, what do you feel like would be satisfying for you in your emotional life? Okay. Next we have, who am I ready to forgive? Okay. You could be choosing to forgive this person for not wanting to be with you or vice versa. You could be choosing to forgive yourself. Okay. Okay. Some people here are going through divorces, okay? Smash the like button if that's you. So it's like forgiving yourself for um, maybe you have some type of guilt or maybe you have like some type of regret, you know, but forgiving yourself. Like, look, what's done is done, okay? That was a moment in my life and now I'm moving on, all right? Um, there could also be forgiveness from the person you're going towards, Okay, maybe they judge you harshly or maybe you judge them harshly. But I see some type of forgiveness um, going on between the two of you as well. Can I get one more? We also, have do, we also have, do my does my life have room for more pleasure and play? 
This is focusing more on the things that give you pleasure, that give you happiness, that give you that lighthearted energy where you're not stressed out all the time. Okay, I see you letting go of things that no longer serve you. Okay, really healing those things. All right, with forgiveness comes room to make um, more memories, more pleasurable moments. Okay, more things that are for you. Okay, more beneficial for you. The bottom deck we have, am I getting enough rest to restore my energy? And and am I fully showing up to my life? Okay, are you just a zombie right now, Virgo? Working yourself down into the ground, um, not really stopping to smell the flowers? Okay, are you getting enough rest so that you can really experience your life day to day? These are things that you have to start to focus on because they're starting to stick out here. These are soul messages closing out this read. So it's like, make sure you're getting enough rest because if you're not getting enough rest, you won't be able to logically think through these situations, these challenges, right? You won't be able to free yourself and fully show up in your life, right? Fully manifest what it is that you want in your reality. Lastly, we have, what do I resist feeling right now? Are you putting off, um, really breaking it off with this Empress energy? Because it's like, I saw that energy of you afraid of how this person is going to take it. Afraid of how things are going to go. But in this read, I see that things will play out. They will pan out for the greater good. It's like something has come, come to completion here. A cycle has come to completion with you and this person. And it's like, it's time for you to move forward. I feel like you have the support of the universe there. It says, am I clear on what my soul really wants? Because that's what this is really about. This whole read is about what do you really want, Virgo? And knowing that you can have anything that your heart desires and that you are worthy of that. That's what you need to heal, Virgo, okay? What expectations do I have that are impossible to meet? I'm going to tell you one for starters. One expectation is pushing off things that you want in your life. Pushing off things that you want that will fulfill you emotionally in your life. Start by doing that. Facing those things. Allowing yourself to have those things in this lifetime. All right. And get some damn sleep, Virgo. I'm not going to lie. That's popping out big for me, okay? Especially if you've been having headaches, smash that like button, okay? You need to get more rest, okay? And you possibly need to eat more throughout the day. I'm no doctor, no nutritionist, but this is what I'm getting in the energy read, okay? More self-love, more pampering of self, okay, as well. So if this message resonated with you, smash that like button. And if you want to see more reads like this one, smash that like button. Thanks for your love and support to this channel. Until then, peace and love.